Hi there, welcome to Karma's a Stitch. This is a channel where I typically talk with my son, who as you can see is not here, about our knitting and crochet and crafty stuff that we work on. Um, my son, Anthony, is typically here with me and he knits and donates all of his knitting stuff to homeless. Um, and so he really enjoys that. This has been a few months of him and I just trying to coordinate our schedules and our, what's the right word, um, obligations, things that we both have going on. And each week is something else coming up. And so we haven't been able to be on here. And finally I said, you know what? I'm just gonna do it on my own. And when Anthony is able to pop in, that's what we will be doing. So because it has been so long, I've decided I'm going to put together a little mini series. And so these will be short videos, um, each video solely talking about one designated project. And that way it's short and I can get folks caught up on my individual projects. And then we will find ourselves at the beginning of December, which we will be doing Vlogtober. No, we won't. We will be doing Vlogmas. Um, and when I say we, uh, Anthony and I both are getting Advents this year. So we will be um, doing Vlogmas this year. We have a lot of fun stuff planned with Alex. Um, we've decided for family this year, Alex and I will be making cookies and, and fudge and things and so we're going to package those up and send those because we have loved ones that are all over this country so we do have lots going on um i will be doing this, this mini series probably for the next week or so i have let's see if i can turn the camera you'll see the shelf right here behind me so this shelving unit and here's today's project um this shelving unit has projects on project bags on it but not all of them are projects that i've started so these are um, mainly on this top row here all of these here um, have been started a couple of them down below have been started but several of them because what i've done my goal for this year let me move you back over here my goal for the last I would say probably three months has been to wrap up all of my projects with the exception of my blankets, which are on the bed over here. Those are my blankets that I have going on. Scrappy blankets, knit, crochet, um, my slip extravaganza blankets over there. So I have, um, I have really worked hard the last couple of months to wrap up several several projects um, because I want to start January 1 with um, the majority of my projects done. Like as you can see I have a lot of active whips. I've always had a lot of active whips and I've tried really hard to be somewhat monogamous um, so that I could try to get some of them finished up. So going into January of 2024, I want to try really hard to just have my blankets and any advent projects that I start. I'd like to have everything else wrapped up. So that is my goal. So with that in mind, I'm going to, I have one project here that I plan on frogging. And this is a project that I cast on, gosh, a year and a half ago, maybe. Um, and it is the, um, oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank. It is the Rocket Tee. It's the Rocket Tee. Um, this is as far as I've gotten on it. That's as far as I've gotten. I have three amazing colors that I wanted to do here. And this would be a great fade. I mean, this is yarn that I could repurpose into something else that is a faded project. When I look, I wanna say this is, yeah. So, I mean, I've got some nice yarn in here, but I'm not, 
I'm not going to go back and do this rocket tee. Um, so I am going to frog this project. If you've watched my channel at all, you haven't seen this in a very long time. Um, and there was another project that I am going to frog and they were my home socks. And those have already been frogged, but this rocket tee will be next. That will be frogged. I'll probably have a video of that being done at the end of this episode. Um, I guess I can talk about what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my, um, <laughs> what was this called? I cast it in on my outline tee. Um, so this is my outline tee. I made it extra big, if you can see here. I mean, it's it's a pretty large shirt, but isn't that fun? I do enjoy this top. It was so fun. I think I had this one done in five days, and I have I have the I have the material waiting to do a blue one. <laughs> so anyway. Today's project that I will be talking about is my Like a Cloud um, cardigan. And I had this project finished and I was gifting it to um, a young lady whose birthday was in August. And I met up with her on her birthday and she tried it on. And when she had it on, I, could, I know that she she's very conservative and... Um, I asked her how it fit. Like I really, she wanted the sleeves to be a bit longer. She's a pretty slim um, young lady. And so I I asked her how she liked it. If it closed enough, if, she, if it wanted buttons. Because if you look at this cardigan, sorry about the dragging needles. I'll try to hold those up. Um, if you look at the edge of this cardigan, there is no button band. There's no button band. There's no extra ribbing. I mean, it's just you knit to the end of the row and you turn your work and that is the edge of the cardigan all the way up to the neck. Sorry, you guys, the needles on the table. So that's the edging on this cardigan. And so I asked her if she would like me to put a band on it so I could put buttons. And she said no, she didn't feel like it needed buttons. It closed around her well. And I asked her if there was anything she wanted changed. It was blocked. It was, um, it was ready. It was ready for her with the exception of the ends being woven in. And she said that she would like it a little longer to cover up her, her bottom a little bit more. So I'll put in a picture of her trying it on and um, then I will, sh I will. so you'll have seen that by now, but you'll have a picture of her and she wanted about an extra four inches. And so I gave her the option of me taking back the ribbing, okay? And if I turn this around, you'll be able to see. So right here, is where the ribbing was. And I gave her the option of me taking back the ribbing and picking up the pattern and going down with the pattern four inches and then adding the ribbing back on. And, or if she just wanted extra long ribbing. And I told her it was fine with me because I'll tell you what, this pattern, this material, the fabric that this pattern made was so fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And it seemed to go pretty quick. Maybe it was because it was for, for somebody a little sl smaller than me, <laughs> but it went quick. Um, and she said she'd be fine with me just doing the ribbing. So I need to do another four inches of ribbing. This is how far I've gotten on the ribbing. So I would say this is probably two inches, so I need to double that. And then I will have this cardigan finished, hopefully by, I'm not gonna set a goal. I'm just gonna say, I would like to have this 
this one wrapped up soon <laughs> so I can hand it back off to her. So this is my Like a Cloud cardigan. I will have my Ravelry project play page um, linked in the description box below. For this project, I'm using Shibui Knits Pebble in Colorway Graphite and held together with Shibui Knits Silk Cloud, also the graphite colorway. So with this project, I am currently, I just wound my fifth skein of the pebble and I have quite a bit of that left. And I'm also holding it with my third skein of the silk cloud and I still have quite a bit of that left as well. So I don't knit with mohair very often, but I'm gonna have to find something to do with this because it is, I mean, it's just beautiful. And the fabric that it's making is gorgeous. So I originally cast this on in January um, of 2023, and I had it done for her birthday in August, but I needed to add a few inches of ribbing, which I was not super excited to do, but so it just sat there and then I pulled it out and I'm like, why in the world have I not worked on this? So that is my um, Like a Cloud by Hoagie Locatelli and that's my progress on that. And I will see you guys again soon for my next updated project. Bye.